What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of FTD News Week in Minutes, where I talk about a couple things that I came across throughout the week and also respond to some of your comments. Now, today's question of the day is, what would cause you to move to another home? Let me know. Leave your comments below in the boom box. As usual, this Week in Minutes segment is brought to you by Gone Viral TV. They stream viral videos straight to your TV seven days a week. Now, the first thing I want to talk about it was at the night when I was preparing for the Wednesday episode of FTD News, I'm just there doing my thing and I was going to the washroom and boom, I see a life-size cockroach. Like, you know those big cockroaches, like cockroaches that will like talk to you. Like when they see you, they say, yo, what going on, man? I'm like, yo, the cockroach is talking? It was that big. And then I was like, yo, did I just see that? Did I just hear the thing talk back to me? No, 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 no. I didn't sign up for this. Cause yo, one thing about me, I hate cockroaches. I hate rat, like maybe like a spider can go on. But anytime I see cockroach, me gone. So I just recently moved to this new apartment and I'm like, how is there cockroaches in here? Like what was going on before I moved here to allow those disgusting things to move in? So I got up right away, jumped on the internet, started searching out different properties and I said, yo, I am gone. But guys, I need to know, like, let me ask you guys a little bit of feedback actually. Should I stay for a little bit or should I go? Because the exterminators came and they did their thing to get rid of the cockroaches and all of that. But I already have some properties lined up. I said, yo, listen, man, I ain't playing around. I, I'm going to check them out just in case this extermination thing doesn't go well. But I'm thinking now that if I see cockroaches once and even though the exterminators come, they just might come back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm just going to be leaving. Like, I'm not talking about like moving in the new year. I'm talking about like moving like no. Even if I have to break the lease and the property management takes me to court, at least I don't have to worry about it for another couple of years and I'll be living in a place with no cockroach. But yeah, that's just a little bit of what I am going through right now. So, um, yeah. On to some YouTube news. Now, something that kind of pisses me off about YouTube and many people, especially gamers, are feeling the heat because this whole content ID claim by other companies. Basically, if you don't know what a content ID claim is, it's when companies identify when a user has uploaded their content or have portions of their content in their own video. So from there, companies are able to claim someone's video, make revenue off of it. They can block it and they can also mute the audio. Now, while the system can help companies crack down on copyright infringements, it's still flawed. For example, if you have an audio clip in your video that's copyrighted or even if you have full rights to use it, the content ID system, which is pretty much automatic for the most part, if it detects audio in your video, the company claims your whole video as if it's their own and makes money off of it just for that one little portion that you have in your own video. And the same goes with the video clips. Now some of these claims have been triggered by accident and what scares users is that when you try to dispute the claims, most times companies reject your claim and if you try to take it any further than that you can end up in court now is that even fair because you may have a small portion of someone's clip and even if the rest is your own content like they get to claim it that's not fair. Now YouTube did release a statement addressing this whole content ID mix up business and they said, nothing illustrates the incredible growth and evolution of YouTube better than the enterprise class of business being built on the platform today. As these networks grow, we're making product and policy updates that will help them operate at scale. We're also rolling out tools that would provide more transparency for creators and networks alike. This is a part of our commitment to ensure that all enterprise partners can continue to thrive and be successful on YouTube. And of course, if you upload like a full segment of a news clip or a movie or whatever like you do deserve to get copyright strike because that is breaking copyright laws but when these stuff keep popping up oh your video contains content from such and such and such a company therefore they claim it like it's just kind of annoying really so yeah, you're probably someone that has experienced something like this before on your own content and if you do want more information about it I do have links in the video description and also if you have any comments or any questions about this you can feel free to comment also in the comment section of this video. And just a quick update, a story that everybody is talking about, that fake sign language interpreter who allegedly trolled the whole world at the Nelson Mandela Memorial, well it turns out that he had an episode of schizophrenia while he was on stage. 34 year old Santaka Janji says that sometimes he gets violent when he sees these like angel beings and sometimes they chase him. Now it turns out that he's actually a trained professional sign language interpreter, but while he was on stage he heard the voices and he saw the angels coming and instead of panicking 
panicking, you know, he tried to keep his composure and that's what kind of threw him off. However, this guy does have a history of being admitted to the hospital for mental issues. So I wonder who hired him anyways? Why hire him? Now let's take a look at some of the comments that you guys left this week. The first one comes from Nick Salazar and he says, you forgot to mention gone viral videos in the beginning. And this was left on Wednesday's episode. Well, gone viral only sponsors this Friday segment here. And that's just one of the, I guess, one of the measures that we content creators take. Sometimes we have like sponsored segments as opposed to relying on just YouTube revenue to keep our businesses and to keep our income going. Simply because you just don't know what YouTube will do next. You could be like, your video contains content from UMG or whatever type of other company out there. Bam, that's it, your video shut down. Ethan Hicks says, why do you only show disturbing stuff? Well, I'm not certain when you started watching FTD News but I talk about a variety of stuff. Some of them are a little disturbing, some of them are a little bit risque, others are controversial, and some of it is just fluff. So if you found one story a little bit disturbing, just rest assured that I cover a variety of story types in this show. So smile, man. Ada Hodkinson said, I love hump day, heart, and I'm sure she loves it for more reasons than one. <coughs> I'm just saying, people. Anand Ravindra also on the Facebook said, a man makes a woman pregnant. I made both of these words appear in the same sentence. I think it was because on uh, Wednesday's episode, I said that, oh, man and pregnant can't be in the same sentence. Obviously, like, you know what I mean. Like, why do you have to take things so technical? What, what, so what, you, you're calling me an idiot? You're trying to make me look like an idiot? Is, 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 is that it? Maybe I'll try to capture what that big cockroach and send it to you. I'm just playing. <sighs> no, I'm not. Well, that does it for another episode of FTD News Week in Minutes. In my last episode, I asked you guys, what superpower would you like to have? And this is what you guys commented and said. So thanks again for tuning into the episodes throughout the week. And I'll see you guys here on Monday again. So until then, live good. And if you guys live in a house with cockroaches, move. I don't care if it's some big time 15, 20, 000 square foot mansion move that's what i'm doing anyways so enjoy the weekend guys i'm the rice said man kenton original natural bond jamaican black man boom melt